Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today we're trying something with millet. We're making a three millet salad and you can see the ingredients displayed on your screen right now. Uh, before we get into it, I just want to say thank you for all the support so far. I truly, truly appreciate it. Now, before we even get started with this salad, the first thing that you want to do is to get your millet cooked. And I realized that it takes quite a while for the millet to get cooked, so you want to get a head start on that and uh, make sure that's the first thing you do. Once the millet is cooked, you want to drain that and then set that to the side. So I'm using three types of millet, as the recipe says. And I have the red ones called the finger millet, the white ones called sorghum, and the green ones called pearl millet. The red and the white take a bit longer to cook because the grains are a bit larger and the green ones take less time. So the next thing we want to do while our millet is cooking is to get our shallots and garlic into the oven. All we want to do is to get them a bit soft and to get that sharpness out of them. So we put them in the oven with a bit of coconut oil and then we leave them there until they get soft. So while we have those two things going, we're going to go ahead and start our chopping spree. First off, we're going to chop our spring onions. And I have sped up the video a bit because it'll probably get boring just watching me chop some onions. So we're going to put that to the side and then get our green beans and do the same. Just chop, chop, chop. And then put that to the side as well. We're going to cook our green beans for about three to four minutes. We don't want them to turn too soft and we still want to keep the beautiful green color. So we boil that for a bit and then set it aside. And then next up we take our parsley, take off the stalks and then chop them up coarsely as well. And then put those to the side also. Next up we're going to take our cashew nuts Put them in a mortar and then just break them into smaller pieces and set them aside obviously if you're allergic to nuts you can keep them out by this time our garlic and shallots are done and we're going to put them in the mortar also and then just um, crush them up a bit we're not trying to get a smooth paste we just want to break them up a bit and we'll eventually add that to our dressing. So we set that aside. At this point, we are ready to make our dressing. Now our dressing is going to consist of tangerines. And if you're wondering why I decided to use tangerines, then please check out the full recipe on gingerandseasalt.com. If you have an orange press, you could use that, but these are so tiny, it's really much easier to just squeeze them with your fingers Seeds are out and I've taken out the pulp as well. And now we're going to make our dressing. We're going to add some um, olive oil to that. And then we'll add some dawa dawa powder, some uh, mustard. And of course, some ginger as well. As well as making sure that we add some salt to add a garlic and shallot mix into our dressing. So I ended up adding a bit more dawa dawa and more uh, ginger to this dressing because it needed that, and then give that a nice mix. And then we're going to set that aside also. And now we get to the easy part of making the salad. We're going to take our millet and then put that in a bowl. A beautiful lime green bowl in this case. So I ended up not using all of the red and the white millet because it would have been a bit much. You're obviously free to increase or decrease the amount of millet that you want.
Then we're going to add our green beans that we've cooked to the salad. And then add our spring onions. We're then going to add our cashew nuts, give that a good stir. I think it looks beautiful. And then lastly, we're going to put in our parsley leaves. I find that parsley goes quite nicely with the salad. A, a word of caution, if you're going to make this millet salad, please be sure to sort your millet properly. If you want to know what happened to me the first time I did a test run for the salad, you should go read it on my blog. And at this point, we're going to add in our um, salad dressing. Make sure that it's nice and wet. We don't want a dry salad. And also, this salad is going to sit for about a day. This is not the type of salad you make and serve immediately. This needs to sit to develop flavor. I've tried it. The most I've let it sit for, I think, is two days. And it was absolutely gorgeous. So what I actually did for crunch was to grate some cocoa yam into hot oil, just let that fry for a bit, let that get crispy, and then salted it lightly, and then put that on top of the, of the salad. And it gives it a nice, delicious crunch, and it looks absolutely amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, leave a comment, and share with all your friends. Happy eating!